Anyway, stay safe, stop killing each other, keep your ass at home, they're the three valid points. Alright, so. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So, fantasist, 21-year-old Conor Deegan, who was an avid comic book fan, has been jailed for 9 years and 4 months after he lured an 18-year-old woman into a public toilet in Little Ilford Park, London, under the pretense of having a surprise for her. The cosplay fanatic that has an obsession with Marvel Punisher character launched his savage and barbaric attack on the innocent woman before leaving her for dead. Now, it's not known whether the victim and Conor Deegan were familiar to each other prior to this savage attack, but what we do know is, Conor Deegan was walking the 18-year-old victim to Ilford Railway Station, but made her walk to Little Ilford Park instead. Once there, he told the victim he had a surprise for her in the bathroom, in which she followed. This was a grave and colossal mistake, and frankly, she should have realised something was seriously wrong at this point. But some people are just too trusting. Once in the bathroom, 21-year-old Conor Deegan aka the Punisher, pulled out a knife and began stabbing the woman repeatedly in the neck and stomach. The attack lasted for what felt like a lifetime. The court heard the attack only stopped when the victim was smart enough to play dead, and once she did that, and she stopped moving, Conor Deegan just walked away, as if nothing had happened at all. Now, despite the woman's life-threatening injuries, she managed to go to a nearby house and bang on the door of a family that was watching TV, and thankfully they answered the door. She was quickly let in and they quickly performed first aid on the victim and applied pressure to the multiple stab wounds until the emergency services arrived. The courts also heard that she could have literally died. I mean, one of the stab wounds was literally centimetres away from the main artery in her neck. Now, for me to say this was a traumatic experience is a vast understatement. It's obvious that too many Marvel or Japanese manga cartoons or movies have warped Conor Deegan's frazzled mind. No person or no sane person would attempt to kill a person and then go off gallivanting in blood-stained clothes while carrying the weapon in a bag. But that is exactly what Conor Deegan did because police arrested Conor Deegan at a nearby address just six hours after attempted murder and he was officially charged with a crime just 24 hours later due to the overwhelming evidence, which included the victim's DNA on his clothes and the weapons still in his possession, in a bag he had. He had a large combat knife, a balaclava, black gloves and a pocket knife all stashed on him. And during the course of the investigation, police found photos of Conor Deegan dressing up as the Punisher and messages to his superhero friends that he was creating his own body armour and weaponry. I mean, what for? Again, at Inner Crown Court, Deegan was judged for nine years and four months for attempted murder, theft and possession of an offensive weapon. As for the 18-year-old victim, she has been left with permanent scars and a permanent reminder of what Conor Deegan has put her through. Needless for me to say, Conor Deegan is a dangerous fantasist. All I can say is condolences and stay safe, safe.